Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm Renee. I'm Will. And we are Phoenix Curations. We're resellers online. We do it part-time for fun and profit. And today we're gonna do a little different format. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a little bit of a lot of things that we've done in the past. We're gonna talk about the direction of our business and related to branding and what mm -hmm. we're doing. Yep. We're gonna talk about um, one of our good finds this week. We'll talk about a mistake at the end and we're gonna um, condition some boots. And what was the other thing we were doing, Will? Um, our three highest sales for the week. That's right, that's right. So we're just gonna give you a couple of minutes on each topic. We're gonna see how this goes. We, yeah. we think this might be a, a unique opportunity to kind of share little bits of a lot of things every time that we get on and talk to you all. Yeah, and we'll try something different, so. Yeah. So you wanna talk about the branding? Sure. Branding. We look at, as we're moving along with our business, we've been doing this for over just over a year now. We're trying to figure out who we are, what we are, where right. we're going, and what, just why we're doing this. So, um, so we don't just look like a garage sale. I mean, you know, which we are. But that's but, what we are. Yeah, that is who we are. But we want to look like a very polished garage sale. If we want to make this a success and continue on and take it, you know, a little bit higher level and get organized and um, actually, you know, know how much money we're making and what we're doing and uh, perpetuate this going forward, we need to get organized a little bit. We do. So we did consult somebody about branding. Mm -hmm. And like you said, we were trying to just get a cohesive look and logo and colors and mm -hmm. come up with sort of a, hey, this is who we are and this is what you see when you come to see us. And uh, we were confronted with some questions from the people we consulted with, which we'll talk about later, who they are, and you, you may want to consult with them as well. And they want to know, well, who are you? Uh, how did you get to be what you're doing? Why do you do what you do? Um, what exactly are you doing and where are you doing it? And some of those things we knew answers to, we work on Poshmark, um, we know what we do, we sell used fashion mostly, but some other, you know, new tags. Mm -hmm. um, but who is our target audience? Well, really people who want to buy more. stuff. <laughs> so uh, we had to give a little thought to those things. And that's the direction of our business is yeah. to come up with some cohesion. So um, should we move on to the boots? Yeah, let's take a look at these boots that we've got. We've got a pair of boots that we picked up uh, at the bins, right? Yep, these came from the bins. So they're dollar forty nine a pound, and they are Skechers, and they're they're not in terrible shape. They're really pretty new, mm -hmm. but if you can see, the leather has been worn in the weather, and it's in a little bit of rough shape. So I really like the style of these creepers. I don't think Skechers is anything special, um, but you can just see that they're a little dirty and a little rough. So we're going to condition them with a little bit of this Doc Martens Wonder Balm. Wonder Balm that. Uh, you know, there are a lot of products out there like this um, that you can buy. This is just something that we happen to have right here. We have actually several different brands. This is an all natural product. You can uh, get natural products or you can get products made with petroleum. Um, in general, I think that the, it's covered in wax. I think most of these uh, natural products are supposed to be better for your boots, but also they don't last as long as petroleum products. So Doc Martens is a combination of coconut oil and lanolin and beeswax. And it, it both conditions leather, so if it's thirsty, it conditions it, but it also is a little bit of a protectant so that they won't get um, in bad shape. And all you do is just take a little bit on the sponge that comes with it and you just wipe just it on there. Wipe it on. So that's a totally, that's a different color. It makes them shiny. Yeah. They will be a little bit waterproof after this. Um, like I said, these waterproof coatings do wear off. Uh, you know, I, I've done a lot of hiking and long distance hiking and we used to put this stuff on our boots and we tried everything from mink oil to some of the petroleum products that are out there. Um, you know, and as far as waterproofing, these things, it'll last for a couple of days. Um, I'll show you this side and I'll show you the other side, but you can see the colors there as I do this side. Actually, mink oil, um, I've heard a few people talk about not using mink oil because it, um, over time, will rot the leather. I don't know the truth of that. Um, 
But there are people who don't recommend mink, mink oil for that reason, although I also have used it in the past. Mink oil will, yeah, mink oil will, one of the reasons that I've always been told not to use it is because it will go rancid and it will break down and actually, uh, as it goes through, it will destroy the leather. And, and I've noted that. Mink oil does smell bad after a period of time, um, even in the jar, even if you don't put it on the leather. So, um, you know, we're, we're not experts, uh, but we are telling you what we have heard from experts and what we've experienced ourselves. Yeah. So I'm just wiping this on here. Um, you can see the line there between the different colors of the leather. These boots like this. They um, do like it. They're and softening up just a little bit. I'm sure that you can see the difference um, between the boots. How um, this is very thirsty leather right here. The finish is almost gone on it. And you can see the color difference between the boots. Yeah. If we can get it together. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we just wanted to show you that. And so we'll, we'll do segments like that if this is successful and you don't yep. want to see this, where we'll give you a laundry tip or a, you know just a re reseller tip on prepping your items. But these. These conditioners, they soften the leather, put some moisture back into it, and they, they um, you know, the appearance looks a lot better. Definitely. It does improve the appearance they a lot. They photograph better, and um, you know, some people like that worn down look, but a lot of people like to look at a pair of boots that looks nice. Right. So, I think in this segment right here, we're going to cut and we're going to go to our three best sales of the week so you will see our computer screen momentarily and we'll talk about that here we are we're going to do our three best sales of the week um, these are all you know interesting items um, i think they all came from the bins our most expensive item was fifty dollars but these were our highest dollar sales of the week and there were like we said three items this first one is an american eagle outfighters camo jacket um, this has love embroidered on the back with a bunch of flowers. Um, it's sold for full price, uh, so we're pretty happy about that. It, yeah, that's pretty good for American Eagle. I remember yeah. when you got that, we did a thrift haul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of our haul videos. So this is a Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic number 518 black and white V-neck. And this came from a local consignment shop. And it's a buy sell trade, and I bought two barefoot dreams one for myself that was $40, and this one that was $7.99. So go figure why one was $40 and one wasn't. But the other one I'll wear for a while, and then I'll resell that one too. Yeah, it's great when you find those things in the store. That's what we go for. Yeah. All right. All right, there's a pair of Cole Haan um, black leather riding boots. These came from the bins also. Um, when I got them, they were. I uh, needed some leather conditioning, just like we showed you in the beginning, the other part of the video. Uh, but they, they were really nice. They were in great condition. They didn't have a lot of damage to them. And um, they sold for full asking price, too, of $50. Yeah, and, you know, we sell a lot of Steve Madden and Cole Haan boots consistently for between $40 and $80. And I'm kind of shocked by that, honestly. But those two brands in leather boots, yeah, we do pretty do good. Well. So anyway, we're going to get back to our next segment, and we will um, reappear in front of the camera. Those were our good sales of the week. We had a couple of others, but we just wanted to share with you a variety of a few sales. And so um, covering all of our sales for the week just takes a long time, and we think people lose interest in it. So you want to talk about one of the finds of the week in our sourcing. Well, so we've got a couple. We actually, we picked two things. Um, these came from the bins. They're a pair of Doc Martens. Uh, this is a pair of Mary Janes. I don't know what you could, um, These are Mary Janes. Those are loafers. kind of Mary Jane-ish loafers. But um, these are made in England, and that makes them a little, little better than the ones made in China. We think they may be vintage. We haven't researched them completely yet. And comps look between like $30 and $75. Yeah. So we're, we're just gonna check into that. So this pair is a little bit rough in that the heel is broke down some and I have a shoe tree in there trying to reshape them. And we have already put the Wonder Balm on there. Yeah, these already have a coat of Wonder Balm. They look much better than they did before that. So, you know, it's really, 
it all ties in with what we just did with the other boots. You know, it makes them look better. It brings life back to the leather. And yeah. It just, it's a, you know, you'll get a few more dollars for every sale. And that's why we like leather because leather can be reconditioned and, and reworked over and over and over. Mm -hmm. And you can bring back a dried up cracker piece of leather into something really beautiful. Yeah, you can. So the mistake of the week. Hopefully you guys have been waiting for that. We have mistakes every week. Um, we think that that is how we learn and grow and we pay for our education with time and money. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so, so this was my mistake. I was at the bins and people were getting really aggressive and there was a whole bin full of jeans and some of them were vintage and some of them were good and some of them were not, but I grabbed a whole bunch of them. And then my cart was so full, they were trying to push us to check out, but I went through them quickly. And I didn't check for one thing that we always check for. And what is that one? <laughs> damage to the clothes. Yeah, so I checked for some forms of damage, but what I didn't check for was what we call spandex wave. And that is right here at the crotch. There's a little bit of pulling where people want their jeans to be very form fitted. And so the, the spandex gets stretched there. You can still wear them, you won't see it, but I don't really want to sell them. So I have eight, eight pairs of jeans with spandex wave. At 50 cents a pound, it's a cheap education. Um, this pair, you can see it much better. You see that stripe right there across the crotch. Yeah, right and that is the spandex wave. And the, the fabric is thin there. And like I said, you can wear them. You won't see it, but we don't want to sell them. No, they, they doesn't look as good when you photograph them. You know, you're trying to present a piece of clothing and. Make it look nice and describe it accurately. People, yeah, that's just one thing we decided not to, to carry through with is to sell right. those. So, if we had a particularly valuable pair of jeans, we might, if we could thoroughly describe it and uh, price them accordingly. Yeah. But that isn't the case with these. I've never so. made that mistake ever. No, because Will checks things much more carefully than I do. <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't. I made that mistake a lot of times. We were just talking yeah. about the you know where in your process you find mistakes, and it's from picking them up at the bins. It's from when you get them home. It's from when you you know unpack them. It's from when you put them in the washer. It's when you steam them. It's uh, I find them when I'm photographing them. I find them um, when I take them out of the you know I store my things in uh, Ziploc bags. When I take it out of the bag to put it in the shipping box. I find mistakes then too. I mean, it's just, it's, yes. it's all through. You just pull your hair right out, right? Yeah. <laughs> but in any event, this is a whole new format for us. Please let us know what you think. Comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, we do have the intention to move forward with this kind of format where we'll just have little segments um, about our business and about tips and tricks for y'all. And um, yeah, let us know. What do you want? What do you want included? Or should we just go back to haul videos? Because we're not going to stop doing those. We like them. Yeah, those are fun.